imaginary constructs of a feeble human intellect trying desperately to justify an existence that is without meaning or purpose. And all of them as artificial as the Matrix itself. A good Smackdown is even better with a little water in the mix. We're losing oxygen! Both plasma cannons are shot! Welcome to WatchMojo.com, and today we're counting down our picks for the top 10 movie fights in the rain. Captain, can you see him from there? You stay there! Damn it, stay down! For this list, we're taking a look at movie battles that probably would have been pretty impressive in their own right, but with the introduction of some heavy precipitation, they become amazing. <laughs> Aside from the fact that no one really seems to be slipping and sliding around in spite of the torrential downpours, these rain scenes display their own forms of liquid courage. Number 10. Making a Splash, A Man Called Hero Usually, when humans are harnessing the power of the elements, it comes by way of windmills or dams. But water bending in a sword fight comes in super handy as well. When these two martial arts masters set out for a battle of skill, the rain becomes not a hindrance, but another one of their weapons. And as a weapon, it's got edges sharp enough to cut a man's bells off. Number nine, Rumble in the Rain, The Outsiders. Hello, Daryl. Long time no see. No, Paul. Back in the day, street brawls weren't all choreography and hair pomade. I'll take you. Well, maybe a little hair pomade. But sometimes there were switchblades and car fires involved. The rumble between the greasers and the socias was a long time in the making, but somebody had to die to drive them to the point of all out war. Boy, boy. However, everyone knows it's not really a fight until Tom Cruise gets in on the action. Number 8. Maelstrom Marathon, Pirates of the Caribbean at World's End. Supernatural crews, nefarious pirates, and finicky sea goddesses are pretty much a recipe for an epic battle on the high seas. Great. Especially when one of those pirates happens to be Captain Jack Sparrow, whom a lot of people have seemed to want dead at one point or another. Leverage. With Calypso's maelstrom providing a dangerous storm as a backdrop, <laughs> Sparrow goes sword to sword with tentacle faced Davy Jones in a swashbuckling showdown. You're a cruel mind, Jack Sparrow. Cruel is a matter of perspective, is it? Pop him over there. Robin, you four go. Number seven, showers and snipers saving Private Ryan. Go, 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 go. When you're on a special mission to save the last of four brothers all killed in action during the height of World War II. We're here for a Private Ryan, who? Things might get a little hairy. It's disconcerting. A crew of seven men set out to track down Matt Damon's character while also struggling to stay alive themselves. I wouldn't venture out there, fellas. The snipers got killed. After they're besieged by a deadly accurate German sniper in the rain, the mission becomes a simple matter of survival. It's, it's to my dad. It's got blood on it. We got him. Number six, turning a blind eye, Zatoichi. Yeah! <laughs> Just because you can't use your eyes doesn't mean you can't kick some major tail. At least, that's the takeaway from the Zatoichi films. <laughs> this blind swordsman isn't your average hero, and with his other senses heightened, he's oftentimes at a unique advantage. <laughs> so, when he's set upon by a group of assailants in the rain, he makes short work of them in an extraordinarily brutal fashion. <laughs> Pretty much business as usual. Empty the cliff! Empty the cliff! Number 
5. Rain and Robots and Aliens, Oh My! Pacific Rim <laughs> The fate of all mankind rests in the success of a group of Jaegers, colossal manned robots tasked with combating and defeating invading space monsters. For the most part, mankind was kinda losing. Especially since the kaiju seemed to have an extraterrestrial advantage. Can't pinpoint it. It's moving quick. Keep your eyes open. So when two kaiju show up in Hong Kong Harbor, two of the four remaining Jaegers go head to toe to tail with the deadly aliens in rain-soaked combat. Number 4. Jedi vs. Jetpack – Star Wars Episode II – Attack of the Clones When you're a lone Jedi up against a skilled bounty hunter with a jetpack, you know you have a little bit of a fight ahead of you. Oh, not good. And when that fight's taking place in the rain, and the bounty hunter's young son is along for the ride, expect to almost die a couple of times. I won't forget. And thank you. How they didn't end up sliding off that slippery metal surface and into oblivion, we'll never know. Ooh, wait. Mr. Anderson, welcome back. We missed you. Number three. It ends tonight, The Matrix Revolutions. By the third and final installment of the series, Agent Smith has finally had it with Neo's crap. It ends tonight. In fact, it seems that Smith has reached the limits of his computer-generated sanity. Can you tell me what it is? Do you even know? He manifests an environment of his making for the final battle with his arch nemesis, complete with unyielding rain and Smith's as far as the eye can see. He may be a machine, but he certainly knows how to dial up the drama. You must be able to see it, Mr. Anderson. You must know it by now. You can't win. It's pointless to keep fighting. Why, Mr. Anderson? Why? Why do you persist? As scouts report, Saruman has attacked Rohan. Thaden's people have fled to Helm's Deep. Number two, the Battle of Helm's Deep, the Lord of the Rings, the Two Towers. So it begins. There's no shortage of final showdowns in this series. And the Battle of Helm's Deep is really no different. While Frodo, Samwise, and Gollum are trekking their way to Mordor to handle that ring situation, Aragorn and his army prepare themselves for an onslaught by the Urukai. It seems only fitting that Thunder and Rain would mark the start of a battle for the future of Helm's Deep, as well as all of Middle-earth. Before we unveil our top pick, here are a few honorable mentions. Number 1. Weapons, Wetness, and Wicked Warfare, Seven Samurai no. Yo -yo Arguably one of the best battle scenes in movie history, this is the rain fight that started them all. After a small village commissions the aid of Seven Samurai to help defend them against marauders, the film's climax sees a final showdown between the two sides. It's a powerful scene that helped cement Akira Kurosawa in cinematic history. Not to mention, samurai battles in the rain are pretty much always cool. Ah! 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 
Do you agree with our list? Oh, I can. What do you think is the best movie fight in the rain? For more entertaining top tens published every day, be sure to subscribe to WatchMojo.com. I think this guy's dead, but let's check for a pulse. Okay. No pulse.